Hey there folks, welcome to the channel. If you have been here before with us, welcome back. Apologies because I know I haven't been uploading the way that I used to. Uh, you guys who have been here a while know, new job, um, lots going on, so I do apologize for that. But we are here today, we are going to be inside because it is raining and grey and cold out. Uh, you know, typical UK weather for this time of year. Um, so, we're going to make a chicken fried steak. What is a chicken fried steak, you might ask? Stay tuned and I'll show you, because it's much easier to show you than to try to tell you. Alright, so we are back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Um, yeah, so chicken fried steak. What is it? Well... In the most simple of terms, a chicken fried steak is a piece of steak that is fried up kind of like a chicken. By that we mean it's battered or breaded and then shallow fried in oil normally. Um, to do that though, we need to tenderize it, we need to get the steak in the right state. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, I will save your ears by putting some music on while I do that rather than letting you listen to me beating the thing with a mallet, but I am going to show you how I do it because, well, there is a technique that makes it easier. So, I've got my mallet, I've got some butcher's paper, uh, now you can also use wax paper or um, even cling foam works for this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the steak in the middle here. Just going to go ahead and do that a bit just to mark my positioning and then I'm going to beat it with a hammer so uh, I'll give you guys some music while I do that So, there we go, that's one down, and um, as you can see, I've beaten it quite a bit. Now, yeah, a couple bits have, cut, have uh, come off here, that's a sign that I've gone just a little bit too far, but we want this to be nice and thin, and we start out with the flat bit, and then we move on to the tenderizer bit. Um, and I might even flip it over and hit it with a tenderizer on this side as well real quick. Right, and there we go. That's how we want it to look. I'll go ahead and do the other one just the same, and then we'll move on to the next bit. All right, we've got our steaks tenderized. And um, just for the record, because I don't think I've said it before, the reason that we do that is because it's going to break up any of the uh, muscle tissue in there that would have been kind of tough, or it's going to make it a lot easier to cut through and chew and eat once it's all done. Um, all right, we need to get our bowls ready. We want couple eggs and some milk in one in the other one we want some flour we also want salt And I like to throw some of my Cajun seasoning in there, uh, although that is not a requirement, I would say, for this. A lot of chicken fried steaks that I've had over the years um, leave that out. Now, 
I know whenever I normally make a batter, I add cornmeal. Um, for whatever reason, chicken fried steak is not one that really I've ever seen very traditionally get a cornmeal batter. Um, I'm almost tempted to try it, uh, just because I love a cornmeal batter. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make at least one of these the traditional way. And then after that, I might add a bit of cornmeal, mix it in, and see how it changes things. Now then, I'm actually going to take these steaks that I've done, and because they're quite large, now that I have uh, beaten them out, I'm going to cut them in half, just so that they're a little bit more of a manageable size to work with. That's going into our wet mix. And again, the stabbing it with the fork, not only does it get the mixture down in there good, uh, but again, we're, we're working on the tenderization of this meat, aren't we? We're going to go from there into the flour mix. And again, we really want to let this flour get down in there good. I'm going to do all of these just the same, and then we'll be back with a hot pan. Hey y'all, just a quick pop in while I'm uh, doing some editing on some videos here to remind you that if you are interested in the recipes that uh, I am posting on the channel, I am now posting those to a Patreon. The link is below in the description. So for a dollar a month, you can go on there, you can get all the recipes, you can chat with other people on there. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure that I do respond on there. Uh, also, if you're interested in the tools that I'm using on the channel, those are also all down below. You can get those on Amazon, no extra cost to you, but it does mean that you are supporting the channel. And by all means, uh, I do say often, barbecue is expensive, guys, so I do appreciate any and all support you guys can give. Thank you again, and uh, I'll let you get back to the video now. All right, we've got our pan hot. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but these over here that are a bit more yellow, I've added the cornmeal to. And now we're basically going to drop these in the pan. And we're going to give them a couple minutes before we flip them. All right, so I have just given these a flip and you can see kind of the color that we're looking for on them. Uh, should take maybe three or four minutes per side. Those will be nearly done. And we'll get the uh, cornmeal ones in next. Right, so here we go. We are finished up now. We've got the two with the normal breading. We've got the two with the cornmeal breading, which will come out quite a bit more kind of a golden, nice color. And then we had a little spur of steak left that I just went ahead and tenderized and fried up without any coating. So if you didn't want to have the flour or uh, any of that, you could try it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit off of each of these. And then we're going to cut over and I'm going to try them and just give you my thoughts on each in comparison. All right, so here we are. We have the chicken fried steak. Give you a good look at how the inside of that looks. It's probably medium, maybe even a little bit more than medium. Um, with chicken fried steak though, you want that because you want to get that nice crispiness on the outer coating. So yeah, this is a standard flour only. Mm. And I mean, that's lovely. That's really nice. All right. Now to try the one with the cornmeal mixed in. Mm. 
Now, you know I'm probably biased, but that's much better. Mm. The cornmeal, don't get me wrong, it doesn't make it sweet, but the corn adds just a little hint of background sweetness to it. Just adds an extra flavor profile that makes it really nice. And then, of course, we're just going to try the steak with no coating. I mean, it's steak. It's good. It's fried. Happy with that. Mm. Now then, folks. That's going to be it for today. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. I am going to tell you guys, like I said, really sorry that the video count has been down. Um, work's been busy, so, you know, it's been how it is. But hopefully, I'll be able to get back to two or three videos a week. Comment below what you want to see me doing. Uh, we are moving into the winter, so the grill is a bit harder right now. So we are stuck with some indoor stuff. Uh, I definitely do want to do a fish boil. I want to do some... Uh, Cajun jambalaya, Creole classics like uh, your crawfish etouffee and that. So those are all things that I'm uh, looking at when I can put into the schedule and fit them in there. But yeah, comment below, let me know what you want to see. And until then, keep cooking, keep trying new things, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.